The South African National Civic Organization in the Eastern Cape's Oa Tambo region is calling on government to deploy more police officers in the area. This follows the murder of 10 people in two separate mass shootings on Wednesday night. Sanko says the community is living in fear as the violence escalates. Eastern Cape Police are appealing for information relating to the two deadly incidents. Our reporter Zeniko Mklaba is following the story for us and joins us now live from Kunu in the Eastern Cape. Uh, Zeniko, you're with the family and we understand that uh, they're mopping up the scene. What more can you share? A very good afternoon to you, Aaron. Yes, we are here at Kunu Village where um, the family, one of, one of the family members is currently busy with the scene. You'll remember that the incident took place on Wednesday, so nothing has been done as far as mopping up that scene up until this point. So there was a meeting of the local el elders of the family together with the elders of this community where they were having a bit of a, um, of a meeting earlier on and then... Um, after that meeting, it was decided that they must attend to the scene. So I'm going to step out of shot so that Usnet and my colleague can just give you the sense of that. The scene is not that graphic, at least, and, but however, uh, we might see some very, very graphic visuals, but we'll try not to zoom into that. So the, basically, this is one of the local... Um, uh, brothers who are busy helping the family in terms of cleaning up the scene. So he has been assigned to attend to the scene. So that's, uh, that, that's what's currently happening right now. Um, so we're going to step out of short. We just wanted to give you insights of what's happening. So after the cleaning up of the scene, uh, family members will then you remember that they were three um there were, there were there were people who were here about seven of them however one of them was residing in the very same room and this is where they were ambushed on wednesday night so families of all those who were killed here came to uh, came to meet in this family homestead today to iron out to iron out some issues but also whichever family wants to perform whatever cultural or traditional customs as they deem fit, they are allowed to go in and do what they deem is fit for their own families. So after this, that's where now we'll start moving into different families into tomorrow. We'll be visiting some other families. This is just one family. However, it's very important that we've emphasized that this is the family that was hosting uh, or oh, this is the crime scene where those murders took place. So after tomorrow, uh, we'll be going to different um, families of those who also succumbed to their death in this very same room. We understand that there were some social workers who came in um, in the afternoon just after 12 o'clock to ensure that they comfort and they give any form of support to the families. And we're also told by some of those social workers and some activists that situations in some families are very, very bad and families can't even afford maybe to put something on the table as we speak this evening. So those are some of the social issues now these families have to deal with on top of the social ills they were already living under before this incident. So you can imagine now that they have to start planning for uh, funeral services which they did not budget for. So that's how things are. Throughout this evening, we'll also be checking out that crime situation we spoke about earlier on when we were speaking to the community policing forum, saying that once it gets dark, it's very, very challenging for them. It's very problematic for them to be able to move around. So before, the, before it gets dark this evening, we'll try to get some activity, especially women, just to get a sense of how vulnerable do they become once it gets dark. And, and so that's what's happening here at Kono so far. Oh, um, so there were two separate shooting incidences. Is there any indication that they might be connected? And uh, is there any speculation as to the context for the shooting at the scene where you are in Kunu? Well, at this point, uh, Aaron, I don't think we can confirm that uh, they, these incidents are connected or related in any way. Where we are, we understand, and this is not an official voice we have been getting from the officials, but talking to residents and people who are residing in and around this village are saying that the issue of drugs is becoming a problem here. Actually, one of the residents told us that just last night, and that's like 24 hours ago, two people were arrested in position of drugs. One of those people who were arrested last night um, is currently in, in car 
possibly in one was released. So the issue here, allegedly, and according to informal and informal uh, information and official information we've been getting is that there's a drug and substance abuse issue. We spoke to locals earlier on. They were not able to say those things on camera or on record. However, it seems as if there was that issue of drug um, metals or drug feud or drug den, uh, if I may put it that way. So that's the context we are getting from the residents. But as far as the SAPS and the official um, recording they are saying they are still investigating the circumstances. So we'll only find out tomorrow what exactly happened on the other scene, which is in another village, once we get to that side. So from this side, it's as if it's just a criminal issue. It's as if maybe one of the family members or one of the people who are here had some issues with people who are in some way, directly or indirectly, had to do with drugs. But that's, what, that's the word we're getting from the residents, Aaron. It's not official from the SAPS, but there's that problem, as I said earlier on that, just last night, two people were arrested. One of them is still in custody and one was released yesterday, and it was relating to drug issues just last night. Quite staggering to see that crime scene there, Zinikom Klaba, for us in Kunu in the Eastern Cape. We'll be keeping you posted on that story.